Natural. And when you see natural gas up around those prices, now just for all you guys out there, why are we paying so much attention on natural gas in this topic of the conversation? Natural gas should be on a decline right now because we're going into the warm months, but it's not. Right. And uh, it's continuing to see at high prices. Now that is going to, yeah, and that's going to come out on your electricity bills. And that's going to come out on your spending power. If you're spending on electricity, oil and gas and gasoline and refined products just to keep your general life going, these things are going to start hitting the bottom lines of Target, Amazon, Starbucks, McDonald's, all these major players. Oh, and, and the point of that was is that everyone was saying, OK, get out of growth stocks. This was the, this is the mantra when you have inflation and rising interest rates. The first ones to, to get hurt is the tech and growth industry because they don't have any profits and they have outrageously high multiple uh, PE revenues and, and, and price to sales ratios and price to earnings ratios. So they're the first ones to crumble, to fall. So you, you uh, do your uh, asset allocation out of growth and tech and into value and retail and mm -hmm. inflation protected. And that's Walmart and Target and Coca-Cola. And then what happened two weeks ago, Alex, Walmart and Target, they both tumbled like 30% yep. on their earnings reports. So we really now, have disaster in the making here. Here's the other issue that's on top of that. Imagine if the full global economy was running on all cylinders. Okay. Imagine if China's open fully. Uh, Japan just started to open up. Some of these Southeast Asian countries are starting to generate more. <laughs> Those prices would be even higher if the usage was coming in and uh, a lot of these economies were running at full tilt. We are at breaking point here. And my concern is, is when you are running at an all time high on natural gas, which has predicted three stock market crashes, 208, 214 and 220 to the dot, to the nasal that has uh, hit definitely. And natural gas is something that we kind of ignore. Most people ignore, but not me. <laughs> and, and I'm seeing some other things that are, are starting to get quite worrying as well is when you see these global economies that are interlinked, food shortages starting to happen, uh, right. baby formulas disappearing from shelves in North America. Um, boy, oh boy, this sounds like uh, trouble is on the horizons. And my concern is the, the following. Everyone says there's lots of money out there. Um, there's a lot of people that are really in trouble at the moment. That's for sure. Uh, okay. So I said to you about three weeks ago, we started germinating, having this, this live, having this discussion together more from the that economic point of view. And, and we talked about, we said, you know, there's a, there's a half a dozen, if not a dozen things, each of which is a economic and societal potential catastrophe mm -hmm. okay and mm -hmm. one one side falls on monetary okay we, which we haven't finished talking about because we only talked about inflation right. so far right. um right and the, and the other side is products so imagine mm -hmm. that if you have all happening at the same time we're consumers on planet earth and all at the same time we've got triggered global shortages of oil forget the reasons mm -hmm. oh, they're cutting yep. off russia because of the ukraine doesn't matter why you're cutting off the oil you're cutting off the oil i don't care what your reasons are it means you can't get any oil you know as far as europe is concerned mm -hmm. that's a disaster for the consumer so you're talking about oil uh i've got the list oil which you have to separate out from oil for consumers and diesel because that's supply <laughs> trucking and logistics the, and, and even ships, right? Diesel. Mm -hmm. And then, as you've already said, natural gas. So these are fundamental to driving the world economy, okay? Which is why economic people don't like the greenies. The greenies are nice people. I like them too. I'm all pro reduced pollution. I'm all pro China, my God. 
uh, Alex, China is the biggest yep. investor in green alternative energy than all the other rest of the world combined. Wind, solar, green, thermal, nuclear, th uh, uh, nu nuclear. Okay. So, mm -hmm. yes, I, these are all very, very important. But you cannot transition out of oil, diesel, and natural gas too quickly. You're going to cause massive disruptions in the world economy and that's what's happening so now we got and it relates somehow do you know how it relates to fertilizer because it does mm -hmm. it relates to fertilizer which is a disaster because that leads to food shortages